perfectly clean yesterday afternoon. Um, so, CJ7, I bought this thing for $3,400 off of a guy named Nick out in Kirby. Um, it worked okay then. Uh, the rear wheel drive still wasn't too great. I, uh, I don't know what's wrong with it, but it, uh, you had to rev it up really high in order to get it to work at all. So now I drive it around in four wheel drive, which turns this into a front wheel drive vehicle. So the, So, this is this. I took the rear tire off just so it would fit better in the shop. But, uh, yeah, I have a bumper kit, so this is going away. This is going away, gonna get replaced. These are being replaced with uh, Fun Country 32s and some white Kragers. Uh, yeah, there's gonna be a sidestep and a cool. I don't know if you would call it retro, but kind of old school hoop bumper here, tube hoop bumper, and uh, winch is going to go there. Um, these are brand new. I got these with the um, the Jeep. It was just in the box in the back, but they don't really fit well. The Omix Ada so said that I had to uh, trim it, but I don't know. I did a little bit of trimming in it. They, I got them on there, but they still don't fit really well. And. Uh, yeah, this hard shell is actually in really good shape. Uh, the only thing I don't like is the sucker because on the inside, it's hacked. Look at this. I don't like this at all. This I've seen them, and these are supposed to be kind of like recessed into the fiberglass. And, uh, and then on top of it, it's kind of the plastic in here is dry rotted. So I was opening and closing this when I was in Montana, and it broke, so I had to zip tie it closed to keep the water out. Um, another thing about all this, you see all this goo in here? This is because I decided to put undercoating in here in the winter and it never ever dried. Ever. Um, yeah, see that? That's why this tarp is in here because all of my stuff was... all of my stuff for college I had stacked in the back here and I didn't want getting goo all over it. And under this floor mat there's serious goo. Look at that. That is nasty because uh, the this boot here isn't really on there well, and the engine link is so bad that it's flinging uh, oil up here, and it's all coming down into here. So this is the only thing between passengers and black shoes. I'm gonna pressure wash this thing out uh, before I before I'm done with it, but. Um, Everything in here seems, well, it did work when I bought it, but, um, the, oh, now well, we'll go to the other side for that. Uh, this is coming out. This is old, ancient, and I want a glove box in there, so that's being removed. I'm not sure if these work, because this doesn't work, so we'll see. linkage for my windshield wipers broke. See, this one's broken off here. I pulled the long one out because it was broken at both ends. So, on my way up to Montana, one of them broke, so I didn't... Luckily, it was the passenger side, so I could still see out here, right? I was up in Montana, and it finally sheared off here, too. I don't know what's wrong with it. I don't know if the it was put together wrong or if it was just old, but it broke, and so I was sitting out here. Hold on. Let's see if I can... doing this for, I guess, almost 1,100 miles from Haver, Montana, all the way back to Oregon. So, because, you know, it rained. And, uh, I'm going to be getting a kit for this. It's almost $70. And then a little cover for this. This works. Uh, no, that's the wrong one. Oh, no. I need the key. Yeah, see, uh, it has two ignitions. There's, this is the actual ignition here. This one just keeps the steering from locking. Um, I want to fix this. I want this to be the only ignition in here. Because this has a wire that works. Look at that. That's, it blew 
there's smoke so bad in here, and I have no idea what it goes to. But we'll figure it out. Um, I suppose that's basically the inside. A couple dents in here. I don't care too much about that because it works. Um, there was a lot of rusting in here too. So the floor was all rusted out. See how my side has no oil on it? Isn't that great? Um, I had to wire wheel the floor and look at all these holes here. That looks like it's still okay, so I might leave that alone and put plugs in here. But um, I need to get Splash Zone, which is a kind of, uh, two, it's a two-part epoxy that uh, we use on the boat all the time. And um, fill these holes up you know, here, too. So, that's that. Everything in here is kind of squeaky. I forgot which one it is, but maybe it's this one. Yeah, you're going down the road. That squeaks really bad. But um, Another thing in here was there was a heater. Because I guess this guy had it decked out for um, winter use. But um, there was a heater right here. It was basically a second heater core. And there were big old long hoses for the coolant to come up here. It was straight up a heater core for the second one. And um, that's what I think this was. Yeah, it was this. That's what that was for. Um, and I tore it out because I didn't like it. It was ugly. It looked bad. And I needed new hoses for my heater core up forward. Anyway, they were all dry rotted. And the ones on the bottom, because of the oil leak, weren't. And so I replaced them. I just kind of took those long ones that were running all the way from up here, underneath here, and up. And I cut them down to size and I put them on the front. So I guess we'll look at that. Jesus, uh, liter V, uh, inline six. It's got the Weber carb. Um, that's basically all I know about it. I put a new battery and alternator into it because those didn't work when I bought it. And I think that that's a, not a high output, but it's, it's a truck battery. It's, um, whatever. It lasts a long time. I wanted it for winter because this thing cranks for forever before it starts. After you get it started, it's, you know, touch it and it'll go off, but that first start in the morning is pretty bad. Um, and this thing leaks terribly. The, uh, I mean, now it's because I also botched putting this uh, valve cover gasket on because I was in a rush and I didn't have the right tools and it was the middle of winter and I was cold. So I pulled the old one off because it was leaking up here. So I pulled the old one off and I had a brand new one that came with the Jeep. Decided I'd try to put it on, and it leaks like a sieve now because I'm an idiot. But I know for a fact that the rear main seal is also leaking because this thing has terrible blow-by. Um, there's absolutely no compression, and I'm assuming that that's what that is, is the rings are not uh, doing their job, and so I'm getting a lot of blow-by into the crankcase, and it just blew out the rear main seal because that was leaking bad before I even touched that. Um, yeah, that's really it about this. I mean, otherwise, it, it's a good car. It runs. I mean, it, this thing works. I could drive this around right now, but there's water in the oil in the transmission, and I didn't feel like putting new, uh, transmission oil in there, so, you know, before I rebuilt it, so I just kind of parked it until I finished it up, but, uh, yeah, it's a five-speed, and the, I, you know, I don't know the designations for the transmission or for the transfer case, but I know that the transmission's a five-speed, and the transfer case has one low range and two high ranges. So, yeah, all these lights work. I think I got a pretty good Jeep, but, um, oh, that was something I wanted to say. I don't think that this is an original body. I really don't. Um... 
my reasoning for it is I was looking on Omics Ada for, you know, body parts and stuff just because I was interested. And they come exactly like this. They have this black kind of primer coating on them. And at first I thought it was paint, but there's nothing under here. There's no primer underneath it or anything. It's just like there's a primer coat and it's split. So that's it. Puppy! There's the puppy. And Boo, well, puppy is Bailey. Boudreaux is the black one. And this is Chewy. So. Well, anyways, that's the, the Jeep. I wanted to put a uh, painless performance wiring harness in it, but I think that's kind of out of budget now after I bought that Chevy Love. I can work out the wiring harness, but whatever. Um, and I guess the other thing is the frame is good. I, I looked at it after I bought it, which was stupid, but um, I did look at it, and there is very little rust. I mean, I don't even think there's anything serious. It's all superficial, but yeah. Oh, and another thing about this is the exhaust, um, the exhaust pipe is, it was rattling around, I put a, I, uh, Oki fixed it, I put a, uh, hanger on it, and, uh, kept it from rattling a little bit. project for the m next, I guess, hopefully month and a half, because if it takes any longer than that, my Chevy Love will be put on the back burner until next year. So, I guess now what we're going to do is we're going to put all this together. I guess I'll time lapse it. Well, no, I have to time lapse it because I think this video is already running pretty well. But, um, yeah, I guess I'll start with the engine hoist. So, Let's see how that goes. 